Okay, sorry about the long delay, um, in, or the long opening there. And where the hell are my, where are my captions in this page? Dagnabbit. I'll just reset them here real quick. Sorry about that. It should be fine. I reset them the other day, but... Well, whatever. Here we are. We're here. We're we had a long, long intro. Fifteen minutes. Jesus.
I don't like doing long intros. I try to do it just the length of the of the uh, song, which is two and a half minutes. But you know, it happens. Oh well. All right. Now we just got to get the game to boot up. And while it is doing that, I will step away for a minute. There we go. What do we got going? There we go. Now I hear it. It start should start loading the shaders here pretty quick. Ooh, there we go. with it here. work in the morning. Always got to work in the morning. Alright, where are we at? Oh, we're in the, uh, what you call it? <laughs> I've already talked to him. Let's see. Where's it got me going? Oh, all the way over. There, and what is it? In the shadow of the mine, Sebastian is waiting near the entrance of the Overlook Mine. Okay, this is the other Sebastian quest. I had two at once for some reason. Uh, Mum's the word, speak with Natty. Talk to Poppy. All right, well, let me, um, let me take care of these, because I'm just talking to somebody real quick. Um, we'll do these two, and then we can, um, go on up and do that. What are you up to one. now? So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! 
My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone <laughs> had meddled in Matebileland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Mm -hmm. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Mm. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Okay. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Hmm. Okay. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Okay. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Interesting. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. <laughs> ah. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather I awkward I heard conversation. Slurping over there. Okay. Now that I'm done with that, I'll go do the other talk to me quest. I think that's the only yeah. Which is in the three broomsticks. Get that out of the way. And then we'll go talk to Sebastian. Go drink some random drinks here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. 
The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack okay. always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can ret- Oh, whoops. We can return her egg. All right. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, mm -hmm. I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Okay. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. So, heading on out here. All right. Uh, let's look at our gear here. Make sure I don't have anything to sell. Got one extra there. Oh, they're the same. But this one is 92. I lose a little bit of my defense, but okay, that's fine. Um, all right, so I've got two things I can sell here. Real quick while I'm. Oops, I, I, I needed my map. Um, I'm gonna go to Glad Rags real quick and get rid of those two things. By myself scurrying over night like these days. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. All right, what do you got? Okay, nothing. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay. No, we're done with that. We'll go talk to Sebastian. Okay, I'm going to go to this one and then see what this infamous Poe is. Infamous Poe. Foe. Infamous Foe. <laughs> Misreading stuff. I don't know what the, my deal is. Infamous Foe. Or Poe. Somebody's out there. Um, heathen is out there reading. Reading The Raven. In a, in a, in a, in a, 
an aggressive manner. I don't know. my best fighting ever but you know I got it done got rid of a whatever they called it got rid of a foe Ooh. I've been there I've already cleared it so it's probably re spawned but there's no reason to go back Actually, you know what? Let's... Ha-ha! Away, High Wing! Away! Okay. I have some promising Alrighty. news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Okay. Sebastian. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Okay. Where are we going? 
need to develop artificial intelligence to drive cars if not for the shortage of natural intelligence to do so. That is 100% correct. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ramrock's loyalists are out for blood. Try to avoid detection, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at three o'clock. I was only young, but not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I've been in one now. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. Couldn't pay me enough to... This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Of course we'll end Once up again, we could fight our, our way out. through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal. We're making quick progress. Reach the entrance to the mine. Okay. I think we're doing all right. What have I got missing here? Oh. Ooh. Do I want to use one of those? If I don't have to, I won't. <laughs> Flipendo. Okay. Let's put that... Oh, I have it here. But, well, let's put it up there. This is Confringo. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Bombarda. Where... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're going to try it that way. We must remain unseen. You haven't had much of stew like what my mother used to make. Well, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Okay, made it past them. You should know better than that by now. We've all told you before, and look for better or for worse, we're in. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Okay. So there's a spot I can jump across.
but before I do that, uh, no, I can go. Okay, 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 okay. okay. See any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Okay, so we're going to slide down. No going back now. Woohoo! What was that? Enjoy suffering, do ya? <laughs> I won't rest. How many run what loyalists are in here? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Revelio. Okay. You are looting here. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? I have an idea. You don't have any idea. You're Silent as a grave. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs. Or any number of endearing qualities, really. Okay, well, let's go this way. It says to go that way, so that's fine. Let's see what we got over here. Cool. Money, money, money. gain me anything but it's fun okay we're gonna slide down again yep smashing Let's go on the stairs that or there's something there <laughs> that bridge is seen better days Okay. 
Okay. Go that way. And that's fine. But there's also this. Confringo. If you could camp in this, that would have been a nice little camp spot. Okay. Quieter than a job enough. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Lumos. Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? 
One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a raven, you certainly have a lot to learn. We can have a look around in peace. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Reinhardt's loyalists never knew to look for it. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. Passing at them more quickly. Wasn't expecting that. Dora's journal entry three of seven. The world floated back to me as in watery haze. How long have I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it's not the black death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? 
A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Revelio. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. What did I need to do to get through those? I don't remember. It's been so long. Remember, honestly. Confringo. Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek... Ah. Well, that's what it was. Now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Okay. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know... Goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. 
Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. No, fuck you then. Okay, I don't know what kind of a weird jig he decided to start doing, but um, yeah, he's mad, and when he's mad, I he dances. Professor Fister. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Okay, I've been waiting on that. I was hoping it would come up. Where is it? I thought it looked... Oh, yeah. Take care of that. It's a good thing we have auras, is all I'm saying. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Mm-hmm. Four grand is a special price. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Yeah, might as well just get rid of them. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay. I look forward to our next meeting. Sky is the limit. All right. Might as well go over and talk to her. Whilst I'm right here. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Hard to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week, she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. Yeah. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the Neasles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. 
I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Okay. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to... Ooh, yep. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. <sighs> well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. That's it. I thought it's the word. Okay. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. So far, so good. One more woof. Dark. I mongrel. wonder how many they brought to capture. Her. <sighs> At least ten, usually. Smithy, thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulas. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago, not to mention Borneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon, Egypt perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. Okay. How charming. They keep in touch with each other.
there she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Repair her. Fantastic. her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Uh. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a video. Or just raring for a fight. those things are quiet what was that Attention. Follow when it's safe. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. Get to that one. I normally try, but we're well past that. The nest. We're almost there. Okay. Repairer. Good thinking. Why is every bridge here broken? Now, if we just were good thinking, but she'd still be able to smell you.
as she appreciates getting it back. That was brilliant! And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. Opportunity to loot a bit. Rebellion. Oh, big damn leeches. Rebellion. Get out the way. a little bit of stuff. Is it stuff I absolutely have to have? No. When does that matter? Rebellion.
Yeah, okay. Go we'll talk to her. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntow Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Okay. How could I have been so blind? New instruments are at no? We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. Okay. Come down, don't be stingy. All right, well. I picked up a few things. So we'll just go to Glad directly to Gladrags and get rid of them because most of them aren't going to be worth keeping. Expelliarmus can just Hello Hi there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Yeah, okay. Nothing worth keeping. Okay. I suspect you have a That's sharp fine. eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. All right. Let's look at our quest. Ugh. Okay, the sky is the limit. Oh, that's for my next broom trial. I need the appearances. A map with floating candles to find the treasure. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a bunch of ruins. Is that a town or more ruins?
Okay, I'm going to go check this out real quick and then, because it's a town and a bridge. Okay. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Why am I lagging so bad all of a sudden? a victory that came none too soon. <sighs> Did I already do this one? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Aha. Confringo! That's that. Settled. Okay. I want to go pop those balloons, but I want to see what this is. Lumos. Revenia. This looks <laughs> Guess so. Revelio. And oh, right there, huh? These rocks have seen better days. I should investigate. Hmm. 
things first. I gotta get up there. Which I could do this. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Hey. Wasn't so difficult. And I got another piece of ancient magic. Intriguing.
Incendio! Okay, so there's that. I've got to find the entrance. been quite stately in its time. I should investigate. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. This place has seen better days. didn't actually give me anything. Hmm. Rebellion. Hmm. Okay. What if I did that and went into one of those before that I didn't figure out at the time. Okay. I think it is about time Go to that and then into that town and see there's a demi guys there so and I need more of those so Knowing 
our meet, he's likely studied here. An astronomy table should prove useful once the sun's down. Okay. So I want to How will never believe this. Do cooperate, won't you? I take it you're Alexandra's friend? Go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. Stone walls do a prison make sometimes. Tego.
You've hurt many of my friends, and now you'll pay. Okay. What kinds of stuff going on here? Revelia. Regret that. All right, I'm going to go back to the astronomy tower to room requirement, do my maintenance there, and call it a session. Oh, I was going to go to that town and, and look for the demiguy, but I completely forgot. Oh, well. Let's do our maintenance, and then maybe we'll get to that. Nothing to identify, for now at least. I'm not going to worry about upgrading or anything. I just want to do my maintenance here real quick.
Okay. I think that should be it for them. I got it all. If it's still night when I get there. It is. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. Awesome. Okay. Welcome, Hello. welcome. Uh, do have Hello, a look. Hello Eddie again, Mr. Thistlewood. Thistlewood. Oh, it's you again, my favorite Hogwarts student. Never attended Hogwarts myself. In fact, I've never been more than a stone's throw from our humble hamlet. Now, how may I be of service? Do you stay close to home because it's safe in the hamlet? Oh, it's relatively safe, aside from our local troll, of course. But it won't survive for long, if it hasn't succumbed to a speeding locomotive already. It lives in a train tunnel. <laughs> you never wanted to get out and explore the world around you. Hard to believe, isn't it? Especially for someone so young. But no, some folk just aren't born with the need to wander. My sister Helen, on the other hand, she saw some of the world in her time as an aura. But I'm happy here. Hey. What do you have for sale? 
Now, how can I help? Really? All he's got is chomping cabbage and Dittany. <sighs> okay. I'll be able to put that to good use. All right. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. So, I am going to just stay in this village and call it a session. So, let me just go ahead and save it. And we'll get out of here. I am not going to raid anybody tonight. I'm tired and I just want to go to bed. So, I will see you all tomorrow night. Tomorrow's Thursday. So, the next... The next part of 1984, I have no idea how far I'm into the book. Um, actually, I can find out real quick. I'm right here. It is a um, EPUB. So, according to this, I am... Well, if I go by the pages marked in the text, I'm on page 225. But it's giving me double pages, two, two per screen. So it's saying I'm on 84 of 147. So, um, so 60, what is that? 63 screens left, however many pages that works out to. So we'll get a few more chapters in tomorrow night, and uh, at least two, and we'll see how we feel about any more than that. Um, so I will see you all then. Have a good night. Ooh. <sighs>